Vinay here from Process Street and in this video I'm going to give you a quick demo and walkthrough on how to use Process Street. Process Street was designed as a tool to help business owners and managers control their team's recurring tasks and standard operating procedures. But it can also be used for much more. It's the most powerful checklist template builder on the planet and its uses are endless. So make sure you have a play around with it and see how you can use it for your business and life. So to get started, I just want to give you a quick overview to the different areas of Process Street. Over here on the left you have the sidebar which is where your main navigation and controls are. You can control your user account settings and you can access the user guide from this drop down here. You can control your organization, invite members, edit your organization details, upgrade your organization and invite and manage members on the organization cog here. And you can also change your organization by clicking on the organization name here and it will show you a list of all the different organizations that you control. The sidebar under there has four main elements, templates, tags, examples, and archives. Under templates, you can find all of your live process templates and jobs. Under tags, you can find the tags that you've tagged your different templates with. Under examples, you can find example process templates that we have created for you which you can easily browse and duplicate into your own templates and edit as you wish. And then under archives, you'll actually see all of your live and archived process templates and jobs. So really you're gonna go into archives if you archive something and you wanna see it later, but archives is generally something that you don't need to go into very often. One feature that I wanna quickly explain before I get started is the concept of process jobs. This is a feature that makes Process Street very unique compared to other project or task management tools out there. Process Street is not a competitor to project management tools. It is a process management tool and is specifically designed for recurring tasks, tasks that need to be done over and over again on a recurring basis, not for individual projects or tasks that may just need to be done once and then they're finished. An example of a task that would need to be done over and over again is onboarding a new employee. Every time an employee joins your organization, you need to onboard them. And here's an example process that we've made, which you can copy whenever you want. And it goes over the process of onboarding a new employee. So here you'd have, you'd contact the candidate, contact the reference, offer the job to the candidate, prepare the offer letter, request information, arrange drug screening, etc., etc. Now, once you've created your process template, you can actually go ahead and start the job. When you start a job, it spawns a new job here in the left. You can see here it's automatically labeled the job today's date and time. As you can see here under the manager onboarding checklist template that I have here, there are a number of open jobs currently and you can have a number of open jobs at different stages of completeness with Process Street. So here I could say, okay, I'm onboarding Bill Gates and you can see here on the left that it's renamed to Bill Gates and this would be the onboarding of Bill Gates, the individual employee. So I could go through and actually complete these different stages of the process, having access to all the information that I need here in this process, such as the reference check form that I might need to fill out and even videos that might give me tips on how to take better references. So me as a manager, I can come in and start this process job for the employee that I'm onboarding, Bill Gates, and go through and complete it. I could also be onboarding numerous employees at once, or other managers could be using this process template to onboard employees into their team. That's the kind of a concept that is a big differentiator between Process Street and project management tools. It's the concept of creating a process template for a task that needs to be done multiple times, whether that be multiple times a day, multiple times a week, multiple times a month, or multiple times a year, it doesn't matter, but that same process is being done over and over again. And those are the kind of operational recurring tasks that Process Street was designed to help manage. Remember, you can always access the user guide from clicking here and selecting user guide by going into the example processes and finding the Process Street folder and clicking on the Process Street user guide template. Here you will find examples of how to use all the different features and functionality in the product with screenshots and step-by-step -step walkthroughs. So if there's anything you're not sure on how to do or you need more information, uh, just open up the Process Street user guide and everything that you need will be in there. If you do ever have any questions about anything in this video or any of the features or functionality, or you just wanna have a chat or you have any ideas about features that we can add into Process Street or anything like that, you can contact support at any time by clicking this link down here and typing in your message or by 
accessing support from the menu up the top. The first step to using Process Street is creating your first process document. There are two ways that you can do this. You can either use one of our example documents from the example section and duplicate it. To do that, you'd come into the example section here. You'd find a process that you might want to duplicate, such as employee onboarding, and you can select the drop down menu here and click duplicate. You can also access duplicate from the drop down menu here. Once you've duplicated that process, you can edit it and modify it as you wish. The other way that you can create a new process is from starting by scratch. And to do that, you'd click this green plus button here to create your first new process. Once you've created a new process, you can go ahead and edit it and start configuring the process. For this example, we're gonna use creating a weekly company newsletter. You can start by naming your process up here. You can also add a description if you wish. And then you're going to go ahead and start adding each step for your process. Each task should be the heading of that particular task, and it should be a fairly simple heading with no detail required because you can add your detail into the content area here. Each task that you create is also going to become a checkable item that somebody's going to be able to complete as they follow through with your instructional process document. The easiest way to get started with a process is to create your skeleton in the form of tasks. That's going to be the high level steps that you know need to get done to complete this process. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in the tasks for creating a newsletter. You can quickly add new tasks by simply pressing the enter key and that will create new tasks in the task area. Once you've added your tasks to the task area, you can go ahead and start adding more detailed content. You can use the content widgets to add text, images, files and video content. As you go through and edit your process template, Process Street automatically saves the work that you're doing. So any tasks that you create, text that you add, images that you upload, etc., are going to automatically be saved as you go. If you accidentally close your browser or click off the process like this, and then go back to it and back into edit mode, you will see that all our work has not been lost and has been saved as a draft. Once you're happy with your process template, you can commit your changes by clicking the done button. You can also delete this revision or this draft and remove all the changes that you've made by selecting the delete revision option here. And if you do want to delete individual tasks, the option to do that is here as well. So let's go ahead and click done. Now we've created our first process template. You can see a little bit of information about the process template by clicking on the drop down arrow here to have a look at the activity feed. The activity feed currently shows the person who created the process template and the last person who updated the process template. In the future we're going to have a lot more information here including exactly who's creating and editing what when and the ability to roll back to previous versions of templates as well as seeing what has been updated across the different versions of your templates. You can also duplicate, archive or delete your process templates using the drop down menu up here. Currently the process templates only exist in a linear fashion as in you create step one, step two, step three, step four, and people can follow through in a linear fashion. But we're working closely with a number of our customers to create richer, more advanced process control mechanisms. Things like nested processes, which is, would be a process within a process, process dependencies so that a particular task can only be done when another process is being completed, or a particular task can only be done by a particular individual, such as a manager, needing to do a review or a check off, parallel processes where multiple process jobs are started together, and things like the ability to assign processes to people, assign due dates to processes, and create recurring processes that need to be done every day, every week, every month, etc. These are all features on our roadmap that we are looking to implement. And if these are features that you think would be useful to you, please get in touch and let us know so you can help us prioritize which features we should be making first. But for now, that's all there is to it, to creating your first process template. Once you've created a process template, you can go ahead and start a process job by clicking this green button at the top here. A process job looks just the same as the process template, except you can't actually edit any of the content, and each item here is now turned into a check mark, which you can complete. So you can create the process template and actually have somebody go through and complete it. You can rename. So for example, if we're creating the newsletter for for Jan 30th, and that can become the name of this particular process job. As someone from your team goes through and completes the process, 
you can see their progress on the progress bar here and you can also see it on the progress circle in the sidebar so you can see the stage that different processes are at you can see who created this particular process job and who most recently updated it in the activity feed and again the activity feed is going to be expanded to include every time somebody checks a process off a particular task off, every time somebody spawns a new process job every time somebody completes a process job and any time somebody leaves a comment basically any action that happened will soon be appearing in the activity feed another key difference with a process job is that the person who's going through and completing the process can actually leave comments against individual tasks so they could say and they could leave a comment against that particular task. Comments will be shown in the activity feed and soon you'll also be able to receive email notifications of comments as they come through in real time. If you want to skip ahead and complete all of the tasks in the process without having to tick them all, you can click the check all button and that will automatically complete the process for you. And once you're done and you no longer need that process job, you can simply archive it. In the future, we're also going to be building out reporting features, which will allow managers to get a snapshot across their organization, seeing who's completing processes, how fast people are completing tasks, which tasks are being completed the quickest and slowest, the time in between tasks, which employees are performing better, faster, doing more processes, any bottlenecks, etc. So you're going to have these kind of reporting abilities to do optimization against your processes for your organization. Process Street is a collaborative tool that can be used by your entire team or organization. To invite people to Process Street, click up here on the cog next to your organization name, the organization settings option, and click invite and manage members. Simply add their email and name and send them an invite. And they will receive an invite for which they can click on a link and they will join your organization. Simple as that. You can also manage multiple organizations from within Process Street. To create a new organization, simply click on the organization management cog and click on the create organization option. You can organize your process templates using our new tags feature. To add a tag, simply edit one of your process templates and click on the tag button. You can add as many tags as you want to a process template. To find your tags, head over to the tags header and click on the tag that you've added. You'll actually see this has not been added yet because I've not saved this current revision yet. To save it, click done. Once saved, you'll see that your process template has now been added to the content section. For me, the way that I use Process Street, I basically have all of these areas collapsed except for the tags. And I just control and organize all my templates within the tag section. In the future, we'll be adding folders and more options to organize your process templates. And that's it for the basics of using Process Street. I just want to quickly go over a few up and coming features that we have and also want to reiterate how much we really want to talk to you guys. If there are features that you want, if there are problems that you're having, if there are any questions that you have, please get in touch. We really, really want to get the feedback from our users and make sure that we're building the best product that we possibly can. A few things that we definitely have on the roadmap coming in 2014 include permissions, so the ability to control who sees what process templates and the ability to control whether or not they can edit the template or just start process jobs. So for example, you'd be able to organize your templates into teams, sales, marketing, human resources, finance, and only allow people from those teams access to those particular processes, and only allow managers of those teams to, to edit process templates, and people who are just team members to start process jobs and complete them. The notifications module is coming as well, which will mean that you're going to be able to receive email alerts for a lot of things that are happening in Process Street such as people creating new jobs, finishing new jobs, and leaving comments. The other big feature, which I mentioned before, is going to be reporting. And that's going to give you the ability to do analysis across your organization and find out which employees or teams are performing best, which processes are being done fast, which ones are being slow, and the ability to identify any bottlenecks in those processes. Once again, if you do want to get in touch with us with any feature ideas or feedback, just click this link down the bottom and send a message and it will come straight to me. Thanks again for checking out Process Street and I hope you enjoy the talk.